What more can you tell us about the decision? You know, the key thing here, it seems like Judge Catherine Fela ruled on a couple of key questions, uh, including the balance of, uh, of harm. You know, the league was able to, to effectively argue that it would suffer harm that balanced out the irreparable harm that would be done to Ezekiel Elliott by missing the six games. Uh, but the, the key thing, she says, basically, while reasonable, I'm quoting now from the decision, while reasonable minds could differ on the evidentiary decisions made by the arbitrator, the proceedings in their totality, meaning the arbitration proceedings that Ezekiel Elliott had after the commissioner's ruling, accorded with the collective bargaining agreement and the personal conduct policy. So remember, this whole thing today was an argument on fundamental fairness. Did Ezekiel Elliott get a fair hearing? The judge here at the Southern District Court ruled that based on the evidence that was, uh, was put in front of her, that he did get a fair, a fair hearing, one that accorded with the policy set forth in the league's collective bargaining agreement and the personal conduct policy. Okay, you and I are both basically reading this right now for the first time at the same time. Yeah. Uh, the judge has stayed the decision f for 24 hours. What exactly yeah. does that tell you? Well, she said the decision has stayed for 24 hours while both sides can, well, can consider their um, appellate uh, options. So if Ezekiel Elliott and his attorneys have the ability to appeal this decision and to seek injunctive relief from the Second Circuit Court, then they have 24 hours to decide how to figure that out. In the meantime, if, for example, the Cowboys had a practice tomorrow, uh, he could go uh, because his suspension has apparently stayed for another 24 hours. But after that 24 hours expires, he will be suspended again, uh, eff effective immediately, which means he won't be able to practice with the team or play in any games unless there's some other injunction coming, which my understanding as of this morning was that Elliott's side and the NFLPA thought that if they lost here tonight, that that was it, that there was no way they were going to be able to get him back on the field in time for Sunday and hold off the suspension. Maybe there's some other option out there that the people I talked to didn't know about, and that's what the judge is referring to. We'll find out that in the coming hours and the coming days.